don't touch the hot metal. <laughs> don't ask me how I know. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be doing some work on my van. I'm gonna see if I can install some struts for my back panel that lifts up into my storage. And I have to fix my bed. My bed broke. So I have to replace the front panel here. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today if you wanna follow along. In the meantime, I have the Wonder Bag going. My first ever use of the Wonder Bag. If you're interested on what this is all about, uh, check out my Wonder Bag video. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, let's throw these in the back for now. So what happened to my bed? You can't even really see what happened, but it cracked here and it cracked here. And it's all sunken in the middle right here. So what happened, I had one, I had the bed out and I had one leg up and I wasn't intending to sit fully on it, but I did without any support on this side. So I only had one leg up and I sat down here and it broke. <laughs> so I'm going to replace this board and I don't think I'm gonna bother with the slats. So the slats really are really useful in this board and the other board, but for this bottom board, nah, it just kind of takes away from the rigidity of the seat. And, you know, I don't think the weight savings is really worth it. So I'm gonna just put a new board on here. I have to replace the hinge on here, replace my end board that keeps my cushions in place, and replace my legs. These legs are for couch mode, and I really don't ever use them because I have my keyboard underneath that stores here, so I think I might just leave these off. But it'll be really critical that I get these bed legs in the same spot again because they're cut at a little bit of an angle, and where they go down, they land on a specific floor board so that I can get to all of my floor. So that'll be important to get that spot right. And I should probably replace my lock mechanism. It lets me lock the bed in place here. But first step is to get this board off. So this is something I didn't talk about in my bed video that I intended to, but it just didn't make it in. But one of the initial problems I had with this bed was this bottom panel was hitting this strut board back here and it's happening now again because this board has sunk in the middle so it gets up to that first board and it jams up against it if you are making a bed like this here's my recommendation when you make the frame you flip it upside down and put it on the floor and this board is oftentimes you can see how it it'd be really easy to get it just a little bit higher than these rails. So if you're gonna make this bed, or if you're thinking about making the bed, make sure that these struts are lower than your side rails. Otherwise, you'll have a lot of sanding to do. <laughs> So now you can really see how broken the bed is. It's weird, it didn't, couldn't really see the crack, but now you can. Burp. Okay, let's see if I got the measurements right. This is my new board. Okay, yeah, perfect.
Okay, bed legs done. Okay, so this helps support my bed uh, cushion holder. And this is my lock, so I'm gonna have to... I was a little on the fence as to whether or not I needed this, but I think I do. But why didn't I have it all the way on the edge? Why did I have it here? Oh, because the frame, it rides on the frame, right. Okay, because the frame is actually here. Right, all right. Dang, my board is uh, bent just a little bit and I should have done it the other way because uh, it's sagging just a bit in the middle. Okay, before I do the other ones, let's put it in and see if I got my dimensions uh, right. And if I did, then we can come back and finish up. So these side things are uh, kind of what keeps it in place on the rails. Okay, so last piece, just the piece that keeps the cushions in. And this is actually really important because it keeps all the cushions together when it's in bed mode. Otherwise they can kind of spread out and you'll get gaps. So you want to keep them really tight in bed mode. Okay, great. It's all finished. Almost. Except for the 300 screws I have to put in. down flat. Okay. A little bit of sawdust in the van, but I think I'm done. Let's see how she works. Perfect. All right, cool. That was easier than I thought. So I bought these braces and they're not going to work. I actually needed to get flat. I could totally buy flat braces, that's what I should do, but then I wouldn't be able to install it today. So I'm going to try to cut the flap off and see how that works.
Well, that's a lot of work to get the right connector. But now I can install it today. <laughs> Okay. Looks like it came that way, right? <laughs> Two holes is not ideal, but let's see if we can make it work anyway. Okay, so I have no idea what's gonna happen. You can't compress the gas struts by hand, so uh, I don't know. Is it gonna compress? <laughs> let's find out. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's gonna work. Is it gonna close all the way? Oh, not quite. Why? Oh, my drill's in the way, that's why. close. Oh my gosh, look at what it's doing to my hinge. Woo. I know you, they say you need to have two, but boy, that's like ripping my hinge out. Goodness. Hmm. So it's hitting the wood here on, so it's hitting the wood here when it comes down. Darn it. Maybe I just need to move it up a little bit. Okay, I think this might work. Let's see what's gonna happen. of like really pushing my hinge up here but it kind of works Ooh. it's like harder to close than it is to open now um, so is that going to destroy my hinge but it's really pushing that hard though so the, ga the struts are pretty strong. I think they're like 35 pounds. And the reason is I usually have a ton of stuff piled back here. And this thing is usually pretty heavy for me. I took a stick and put a bathroom scale on it to see how heavy it was. And I think it was about like 20, I wanna say 28 pounds. And I could only find these struts in certain uh, weights. So 35 was kind of the closest one that I could find. But, I don't know, it might just be way too strong for this hinge. I can pull that out a little bit. Yeah, see? Not so strong now, are you? It's just because the cushions are pushing into each other, but... It holds it. Still being funky with the hinge, but... Oh, I think this is gonna work, guys. Okay, so here's some of the stuff I have that goes on back here. I have this heavy wool blanket. I have my other bedding. And let's see, let's put something else heavy back here. Okay, just for illustrative purposes. <laughs> A little toolbox and some uh, clamp. But this is kind of the stuff I have in here. I have boxy stuff that doesn't like to lift up. So, how does she do now? Ooh, too heavy. Oh, let me take this cushion out, that's why. Yeah, but it doesn't hold it, wow. See, no wonder it was so hard for me to hold up by hand. So this piece needs to be farther up on my lid to be pushing up more on the end. 
but I'm limited with how short it compresses. So I think I can get like maybe another half inch this way. If I move this this way and I have a little bit left to compress. So let's try that. Okay, a little bit more weight. Let's see if the one will do it. Oh, let me get this out here. Uh, it's better. It's better. With another hinge, I think I'll be golden. Okay, I think it's gonna work. Don't touch the hot metal. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know. Voila, perfect. I don't get in here very often, but if I'm on a trip and I've got this thing piled high with uh, blankets and uh, all sorts of things, pillows, and uh, this is gonna be great. Just waiting for this to cool off a little bit. So, like all things in the van, there's the right way to do it, and then there's the way you have to do it because it's the van. But I think that's part of the fun of the van is that uh, conventional rules don't work. So you have to make up your own way because, you know, nothing's square, nothing's level. Uh, you get to just totally be creative and make it work. Hot, but it's shut. All right, so this is definitely pushing on my hinges, but you guys, it's working. It's bending my hinges. Hang on, hinges. I gotta get some support for you. Put two more supports over there. We'll see what happens. I don't know, maybe it'll break. Maybe I'll have to redo this whole thing. We'll, we'll find out. But the big question now is, when I load this thing to the max, I put my bedding, my wool blanket, box over here to simulate something square that has to be lifted up. What's gonna happen? You ready? What's gonna happen? I don't know. Oh, it doesn't hold it. It's better. If I pull this bottom cushion, the more I pull this bottom cushion out, yeah, I can live with that. I think that's gonna work. Okay, I'll let you know what happens. Does it rip my hinges off before I can get support hinges on? I don't know. I think it's gonna work though. I think it's gonna be a big help. So, okay. Okay guys, so that's it for my bed and strut video. Uh, I think I made some good improvements on the bed today. Probably will need some more improvements as uh, time goes on. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Hit the green button to subscribe. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.